Hello, nerds. We have another reaction. This is a band. I don't know that we've done a reaction directly to. <laughs> I know we've done um, like a quickie reaction or a suggestion or something along those lines for Light the Torch, but not a proper reaction reaction to uh, anything that they've put out. And I can safely say that I haven't listened to this their newest record, the You'll Be the Death of Me record that came out last year in its entirety. So I haven't heard this song. So this is a pure reaction analysis. Uh, speaking of which, uh, just so that there's no confusion, let's do this. Well, hello there, nerds. Thank you very much for joining me for this reaction video. Well, we have a couple of things to get out of the way before we can get back to said video. First and foremost, I do reactions as more of a initial analysis. So we're going to be stopping this. We're going to be talking over certain things. We're going to be replaying sections. We're going to be doing a lot of things that are not conducive to somebody who just wants to watch the original content. If you would rather watch the original content uninterrupted, then please go do that. I definitely would recommend that before you join me here on this reaction and analysis. Beyond that, I have to get my qualifications out of the way. I have been training in music since I was a little kid, which means approximately 30 years. I have been a professional musician and studio producer for about 20 of those 30 years. I have also been uh, making, directing, and editing music videos and YouTube content for over a decade at this point. So I have a base of knowledge that lends itself to adding something constructive to this conversation. And that is exactly what this is. This is a conversation. This is my interpretation of what we are about to react to and analyze. If you have a different interpretation, that's what the comment section is for. Let's have a conversation about this thing, about why it may or may not be the greatest thing ever, whatever it is. Uh, I, I welcome the comments. I do request, though, that you try and be constructive with your criticism or you at least have some sort of knowledge base to work from uh, because gotcha moments are not going to work in this comment section. I do have a pretty strong knowledge base and a pretty strong opinion most of the time. So all of that being said, thank you very much for joining me right now and let's get back to your regularly scheduled reaction video. Oh, all right. <clears throat> so all of the disclaimer notifications and all that stuff out of the way, uh, we have history of the band or history with the band. So this is Howard Jones, uh, who was once the vocalist for Killswitch Engage, which is one of my top favorite bands of all time especially the Howard Jones records. Uh, Howard Jones, after he left Killswitch Engage, started a band called Devil You Know, uh, which then later became uh, Light the Torch. Uh, I honestly just saw Light the Torch with Killswitch Engage. It was a little bit of a religious experience for me, even though uh, I'm injured and couldn't fully appreciate the concert to the level I wanted to, meaning I couldn't jump in the mosh pit. So uh, that kind of sucked. But it was still a hell of a show. Uh, Light the Torch, Kill Switch Engage, August Burns Red. It was a hell of a show. Anyway, um, so on, in all honesty, there is a there is a possibility that I have heard this song, just I've heard them play it live and not the studio recording. So we still have plenty to talk about, I'm sure. Um, I honestly don't really know the other members of the band. Uh, the guitar player used to play for All Shall Perish, which is a band that I know, and uh, Hiss of uh, Atrocities, never heard of. And then Logan Mater apparently used to play with Machine Head, Gojira, and Five Finger. De oh, no, that's uh, producer, that's who produced them. Um, yeah, so currently you have Howard Jones, Ryan Wambasher, Alex Rudinger, Francisco Artusato are the regular members. They have a couple of court touring drummers from time to time, it looks like. Um, but yeah, pretty solid band. Um, 
I don't know. It definitely feels like, at least live, it felt like there was something not quite fully realized uh, in their sound. So we might get into that. Uh, I guess that leads us into expectations for this song. I fully expect this to be uh, solid. Um, Production-wise, they're probably not going to be quite as solid as the Killswitch records are because Adam D., uh, the rhythm guitar player and one-time drummer for Killswitch Engage, um, is uh, kind of a production god, and he produces all of the Killswitch records. That's obviously not who uh, Light the Torch is working with, so... I'm sure there's going to be a few things that I feel like could have been done better or different or what have you, so we'll probably end up talking about that. Um, as far as the expectation of the performance, it's going to be solid all over. Uh, I don't think it's going to be exceptional necessarily, um, so we will get into that. So that's what we've got there. Pardon my dog barking. It's uh, 4th of July as I'm recording this, and he's not a fan of the uh, the fireworks. So... You might hear a couple of barks in the background. We're trying to keep him as calm as we can, but it is what it is. Anyway, let's get into the thing and the stuff. All right. So let's go. Becoming the Martyr is the name, or Become the Martyr, rather. Very interesting. Without the sun, memories remain until the story fades. The only thing eternal is in all the games. All right, so we've got a lot to unpack in the first minute of this song. Um, vocally, there's a whole lot of verb on his voice, which sounds a little weird but not bad um howard jones is probably the greatest metal vocalist ever honestly i think the man is amazing uh, from blood has been shed from the days before kill switch he's just always been real nice um all right so howard's voice is super powerful i think that much verb verb makes sense on anyone's voice to a certain degree. I feel I feel like this is a little bit too much reverb on his voice, but I think the reason that it works the way it does is because you have that like synthy 80s kind of thing coming underneath it. So it has a very defi- uh, <clears throat> excuse me, has a very definite feel and tone, the very obvious direction they were going. So uh that makes sense. The I'm really digging this this synth loop. Right here, where is it? There it is. See, but they, uh, I, I think it's cool. I think though they, if you're going, this is a, this is a personal style issue that I have with a lot of bands in the studio versus when they're on stage. A lot of bands have a th- have this tendency to do these things that you can't or that they can't reproduce on stage because there's just four in this case there's four of them and they're all playing their instruments or singing and so it's not really that synth line in the background is not really something they can reproduce necessarily because they don't have a keyboard player. So it works in the studio, sure, but it's not reproducible uh, on stage to its fullest potential. It's, I, I mean, you can always play to a track. A lot of people have tracks that they play to, uh, so it's not, a, a, you know, something 100% unusual, but I just, I feel like personally, if I'm going to do something on a record, then I want a person on stage to be able to reproduce that sound and not just somebody who's manning the, the, the soundboard pushing a button because that just seems... I don't know. It seems like I'm I'm shorting the the uh, experience to the crowd somehow, but that's just me. It's totally a style thing. I, I, it, it's not a ding against this at all because I really am really digging this this production so far. Uh, though that was the other the other note uh, on production, kick drum on this kick seems underwhelming. 
Um, again, you can hear it. So at least there's, it's got a leg up on, on a lot of mixes because a lot of rock mixes, a lot of metal mixes, the, you, the drums are kind of muddy. Definitely not the case here. Might be a little too much on the top end, but still, uh, pretty solid. I just feel like that kick could have a little bit more presence, a little more oomph. We can burn without the sun. And then the effects on that guitar, that I think is what finishes that sound that they're going for. The, the, uh, it's a, it's a, oh no, I'm going to forget the name of the effect. <laughs> it's not an echo. Oh boy. I'm, I'm totally brain farting right now. Um, but it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it, it cuts the signal effectively. So it, it sounds like it's echoing, even though it's the, the, the tone doesn't actually stop. It's just the effect turns on and off. So that plus it sounds like a little verby sounds, uh, there's some sort of let's I, honestly, let's go back so I can pick it out a little better. You have some sort of envelope on there so that it's it's uh, cutting off the bottom, but we're living pretty heavy in the mid top as far as the EQ goes. And there is a bit of a, a an echo applied to it as well, it sounds like, but the big effect is that chop. Also, there's only one guitar player here, so we just heard two different guitar parts. That's another, again, totally personal baggage that I'm bringing into this. If you're going to have two guitar parts, you should have two guitar players. It's just the way I prefer to do it when I'm the one on stage. Uh, plenty of bands, even the almighty Pantera did this kind of stuff all the time. So again, not exactly something that it's not, I'm not saying that they're less talented for doing extra stuff in the studio. It's, it's uh, pretty just different styles. God, just love that voice, man. Just transfixed. He is just mesmerizing. Oh, my God, Howard, I love you. Um, all right, so Howard Jones, just the pure power behind that voice. Just And, and the thing with uh, become or with uh, light the torch and then the whatever the band was before I said at the beginning of the video, I'm brain farting that as well apparently. Um, the thing, the difference in his approach to vocals for this band versus Kill Switch and very much versus Blood Has Been Shed uh, is much more melody. He's very much more concerned with melody and and keeping it, it honestly very much more digestible, but just the beauty that comes out of this man's voice, the tones, the pure tones. Um, he doesn't need to do those screams. He has an amazing scream as well. Like I said, I think one of the most talented metal vocalists ever, if not the most talent, me, me, talented metal vocalist. Um, and just this band is proof that he doesn't need to do those aggressive, overly aggressive vocals. Yeah, arguably what he's doing here is rather aggressive, but so effective and so emotional and just relaying that so well. I like the way the second verse is filled out with that distorted guitar. Uh, we have some really hardcore rock bass syndrome going on here. I think that's both versions of rock bass syndrome. I definitely think it's a production thing, but also it seems to be, uh, at least when I saw them live, the bass player is not uh, overly experimental. So very a whole lot of Route 5 kind of stuff, but still solid. He's filling out the bottom end. Like there's definitely, you can hear the rumble associated with the bass. Just 
it's it's rather indecipherable as a bass guitar so Ooh, a bridge. Nope, going back into the chorus. Oh. I guess I do remember the vocalist or the bass player also doing vocals. Interesting. It's nice to be able to hear them a little bit better. I hate live sound guys so much. Oh yeah. Oh, listen to that thickness. We're going back over that section for sure. Oh man. All right. So, we have we have a vocal line from the bass player. We have Howard doing the aggro stuff, only it's the accent. They're 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 mixing it in such a way that the focus is on the it's burning down line that the bass player keeps saying. And then the it, the, the 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 gain is brought down on Howard's aggressive vocal. And then we have this chorus effect that they put on the the melody uh, and then just Howard's voice gets bigger. Oh God, that was a really great bridge that just vocally that was so rich and thick and we're going through that whole section one more time. That was beautiful. All right, so hold up. There we go, right here. So we can start get we start to get harmonies with the melody vocal. So right now we're doing like octaves effectively. Oh no, that's a that's a that's a the the drop down a third. That's like a sixth that you're hearing back there. Uh mixed really low. There's two different vocal takes going right here. You have it's burning down and then you have it's burning down. So there it's it's a uh, He's jumping up to the five, and then the other one's going to the three. So yeah, that's 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 approximately where it is. Away. But then you get more rich harmonies here when Howard kicks in too. So you hear the the main line. You hear that lower mixed uh, where it doesn't go as high, and then you hear one that goes even higher. So you're dropping jumping up five, eight, and three. So you've just got this crazy rich harmony going on here. With with Howard underneath to accent the emotion of this moment. Just oh my god. And like the crescendo is done with the melody vocal and Howard. Oh God, that was just, that's very well done. Very, very effective. Into an open, open space. The synth definitely helps 
with the crescendo here at the end. The synth is definitely heightening the experience. Uh, maybe they just need a synth player, man. Like, if if you're going to do something this epic, like, maybe think about hiring a synth player because th you this could be the direction that Light the Torch goes. Is we, Yeah, we're going back a little bit. We're going back. This is too great. Yeah. Oh, man, yes. Oh, man, yes. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm done. <laughs> we've, we've come to the end. Uh, final thoughts on Become the Martyr from Light the Torch. Oh, that is... That was just... Uh, this band... I, I, live was not that effective. Like, I, they were great. I bought the shirt for a reason. They were absolutely fantastic live, but they were not as effective as uh, Light, or I'm sorry, Kill Switch Engage or August Burns Red. Just, just a statement of fact. They were not as effective live. This, they need to translate that. Maybe that's the thing that they're missing on stage is the synth player. Maybe that's the thing that's not being translated that needs some extra layer on the stage production is that synth player so that it, it, it doesn't seem as hollow with a playing to a synth track. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just putting that out there, seeing what sticks. Uh, I think this is a great song. I think this is a great band. I think this is definitely a band worth listening to. Honestly, Wherever Howard Jones goes, I will be happily shortly behind. That Scion record that he did with Jared Dines is phenomenal. Uh, the, the the all of the stuff that I've listened to from Light the Torch and and whatever the heck the name of the band uh, uh, Devil You Know. Good Lord, sorry, brain farted. All of that stuff is also really, really good. I feel like this is probably prime Light the Torch, at least as far as it stands right now. So, whoa. That's a fact. That was, I'm going to listen to this song again when I'm done recording. <laughs> so that is what we've got for this reaction video. Thank you very much for joining nerds. If you want more reaction videos, make sure you are subscribed Do the liking and the things and the stuff. And uh, let's talk about all of that down in the comments section of whether or not you think I'm absolutely right or I'm absolutely ridiculous. I think it's a conversation worth having. So thank you very much, nerds. We'll see you in the next one before we go. Always, always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here.